Hello, everybody. Remember how I made that post and I said, going on a wellness journey. And this is mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. I usually got the spiritual part down, but there's always room for improvement. Always. So for those of you who want to join me in this wellness journey, I can't guarantee I'm going to be doing a video every single week for like years on end. It's not really the point of this, but you know, I'll, I'll dip in here every once in a while, make one of these videos to just touch base with all of you. I can tell you the wellness journey. <laughs> um, for me, for me, it's a lot of, uh, you know, focusing on my weight. Weight has been a big deal my whole life. I was a fat baby, fat kid, fat teenager, always struggled with my weight as an adult. The thinnest I ever was, was not considered thin by most people's standards. And it was not by good means, okay? It was by very tough means. And that's how I was able to lose weight. And I'm never going back to that. I'd rather be chonky. Okay, I'll be chonky. It's fine. <laughs> One of my first diet when I was five, that was from my pediatrician. And this was back in, when was I five? 82? Something like that. I don't know. Math. What are you going to do? Um, back then, at least in my town, my pediatrician smoked in in the thing. I remember he was checking my lymph nodes one time. And he had, I think I've told this story, but I'm going to tell it again. He had the cigarette hanging out of his mouth as he's checking my lymph nodes. I think my hometown was just like 20 years behind the times. Because, like, seriously, like, who's doing this? But the ash was, like, like falling off the end of the cigarette. It's disgusting. But anyway, um, that happened. And this was the very same pediatrician who said I was too husky. What a stupid, <laughs> jeans used to come in size husky, okay? Listen, I, I, didn't, I didn't make the rules. I didn't, I didn't do this, but whatever. And then I had to be put on a diet. So I'm probably dealing with a little bit of metabolic mess up from having been on a diet when I was five, when no one should be on a diet, and various struggles through my teens and into my adulthood. So here's the update. How am I doing? Well, I'm going to do a workout today. I had a lot of work to do, so I'm going to be doing that. Right now, I am loving Les Mills. I'll talk about that in a second. If you have a, this is one thing I did like about Colorado Springs, and I really miss it. Vasa, the Vasa gyms. Now, I've been a member, I was a longtime member of Equinox in New York City. That was a nice gym. If you're, if you're in an area where there's an Equinox gym and you're going to join, you're thinking about joining, I will tell you this, pretentious beyond belief, pretentious beyond belief. And those classes, at least in New York City, always too crowded. And I could not take one or more woman, person, whoever who had hair extensions Okay, and like, they're like mopping the, f like it was so much sweat on the floor and they're literally on the floor with their expensive hair, like mopping it. Why are, what are you doing? I just got this hair and I wanted to like put something on my head, like disinfectant or something. Like I didn't know. Ew. Anyway, that's just my side bad memory from Equinox, but, um, yeah, so it was gross. Um, I remember the <laughs> classes being super crowded. Uh, they hired uh, some teachers that were bizarre, uh, really bizarre. There was a time I was on, I was on an elliptical and I had gone up. There's a TV right in front. There's like literally so many televisions there. And there was one right in front of me, me and this other woman. I don't know who she was, but I was like, hey, you know, do you want to look at, you know, watch this show? And she's like, yeah, that sounds good. We're literally, we're watching the show while we're on the elliptical and we're like getting up to like the point of the show, like the whole point of the show and this little short, oh my God, like he looked like a certain Hollywood producer, like short, clammy, pudgy, Let's just put that out there, Um, came up, grabbed the remote up and just changed it right at the climax of the show and I was like that's it I quit I quit this gym <laughs> I can't well and the thing 
It wasn't because of the show. I was pretty mad about that. But it wasn't just that. It was, I was like, oh, wait, turn that back on. Wait. <laughs> Hold on a second. And he turned around and he cursed me out. And he was calling me, you know, a bee and all this stuff. And I was like, no, no. Although I did work out right next to a lot of celebrities. That happened. Um, but they're also jerks. Okay. So if you're, that's just my little brief impromptu review of Equinox Gym. And I hate their advertising. Their advertising, at least back when I was a member there, it was all sexually driven. Like really, like gross. Desperate. Like like desperate. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, not my thing. But Vasa, I was a member, I went to the one that was on Nevada Ave in Colorado Springs. Loved it. Loved it. it it's affordable. It's cool. Like most of the people I met there were pretty cool. Everyone kind of keeps themselves. You know what I mean? Unless you did want help. Um, it seemed like somebody, like everyone was pretty down to earth there. Uh, so I like that gym quite a bit and it seems not always was it clean I gotta tell you not always um but I think that's more because of like people being idiots some of the people that were there it, most of them were down to earth and cool but like every once in a while somebody would do something like um literally guys I kid you not when I was getting ready to leave Colorado Springs they have a pool there okay and um someone <laughs> I don't even know it's as bad as women mopping the sweaty floor with their hair. Um, I don't know. And then not washing it. Did I share that? This is Equinox. They did not wash their hair. How do I know that? Because we would be done with the class. We all went into the locker room. And they, this said Equinox. And they would go in there and change. And they'd be like, eh, eh, a little bit of dry shampoo. And then they're off at the smoothie stand. I don't like you all. Okay? Y'all need to knock it off. That's disgusting. I have to sit in that chair too. Okay? At the smoothie stand. Anyway, back to Vasa. So someone, we're back at Vasa now. And we're in the pool area. Someone had brought in a sandwich. Because it was in the clamshell. The plastic clamshell. <laughs> they brought a sandwich to the pool. I don't know. And they did not like the mayonnaise on their sandwich. And it looked like, like they, it was just like the sandwich. And then like a big old glop of mayonnaise. And like mustard and stuff. Like they had just like taken it off and thrown it down. So I, that, I saw that. I witnessed that. That's not necessarily the staff who's cleaning. It's not their fault that people are dumb. That's what I mean about that. But anyway, if you're in one of those areas and you want one of those gyms or something, um, there you go. There, There's my opinion about that. I have here in my hometown, we don't have big gyms like that. And my hometown is very big on sports. So what you see a lot of people doing is running or playing tennis. Now, I play tennis. Do I play it well? Meh. I mean, I got a forehand that could probably probably take someone's head off, maybe. Used to be really good at serving. I don't know what it is. I got a little bit of a powerhouse behind. <laughs> but as far as, like, running, um, darting back and forth, I'm not into it. <laughs> Just not. Um, so anyway, you'll see a lot of people doing things outdoors, even in the winter. They're out running. They're, you know, doing all of that. So for me, because I'm not doing that, I'm not built for running. I'm just not, okay? Uh, I have been doing Les Mills. So this is not sponsored. Les Mills is this online streaming. I think it's Australian. Um, online streaming service. And it's a lot of body pump. So I have really gotten into this. I would dare say I've fallen in love with this. Now, I don't own a bar. It's like bar with the weight thingies. I know, right? Like, who would have thunk it? I, <laughs> not me. I didn't even understand that you had to, like, how do you, how you take the weights off the ends. I didn't know how that was done. I still, I mean, I kind of know from being at those gyms. But I don't have that here. I just use free weights. But I love it. I have fallen in love with it. So I'm going to be doing that later on today. Um, I definitely have middle-aged spread. I'm 47, probably hitting perimenopause, and I swear to God, the menopausal mob, get off my back, okay? Oh, you're 47, you're for sure in perimenopause. Maybe you were, okay, 20 years ago. Lay off, okay? <laughs> I've been to the doctor. I know what's happening with my body, okay? I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I have no problem when I get there, but do not pretend like we are in the same age category when you are... 
15, 20 years older than me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. So why was I yelling about that? I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, the middle age spread. Um, I am okay. I am 47 and I'm packing on the pounds for sure. A lot of that's COVID weight, stress. I stressy, you know, all that. So that's all playing into this. So I think I'm going to do later on, I'm going to do, usually it's a 50 minute workout that I feel good with. 50 minute body pump workout on Les Mills. I'll probably do uh, another half hour of Pilates. I like doing that. I'm also on the Better Me app doing somatic exercises. So I might pump in, pump in. I'll put in, um, I was thinking body pump. <laughs> I'll put in, those are just 10, 10 to 15 minute little workouts. I'll put some of that in. Uh, and then my nice relaxing shower. I do want to share this as well as far as wellness goes. I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor. Okay. We had frigid temperatures here. I went into the shower. The water was warm, but not hot. And that's okay. Started rinsing off and, you know, sudsing up. The water went ice cold. And I had to finish out my shower with it being cold. Now, this is not the first time this has happened to me in my life, but this is the first time I think I was paying attention. And I noticed, dang, my skin is so good. <laughs> Wait, like, is that from the cold? Like, it was it was glowy? Okay. And, I like, young? Okay. Like, okay. Okay, we'll take it. And then I started researching it and looking into all the health benefits of just doing, now, I, this may not be appropriate for everybody, but for me, I'm in a state where I can do this one to two minutes for your daily shower of a cold rinse and look it up for yourself. Check with your doctor, see if this is right for you. But I think I'm going to start implementing that as part of my wellness too. Now, as far as eating, I'm going to lay it down for you. Most mornings, this is my, this is my go-to breakfast. Okay. Sprouted green bread, avocado, some sort of broccoli sprouts or alfalfa sprouts, whatever is available at the grocery store. Sometimes I'll pop some chia seeds on there. If you're doing chia seeds, make sure it's going into something that can kind of bloom them because you don't want to eat those dry and then it blooms in your stomach. Like it's like eating raw rice. Like it's just not done. Okay. Remember, remember the, I don't know if this is like an urban legend, but like if you threw rice outside for like a wedding and then the birds ate it, it would blow up their stomachs. I, I don't know if that's what happens with chia seeds, but it feels like it could. Okay, so just, just be mindful of that. I kind of mash it into the avocado. Sometimes, depending on the day, I will put um, an egg on top. Some days, two eggs. Some days, I feel like I need more protein, and I cook those eggs in co uh, coconut oil. So I, I do them in coconut oil, and then I put hot sauce on top and a little bit of salt. The hot sauce is a must. I personally like Tabasco. It makes the breakfast. And black coffee. I have black coffee. And I have gotten the brewing process down to a science. It's a messy science, but, you know, I, I've got it good so that I don't feel like I need any cream. I was never a sugar in my coffee kind of person anyway. So that is my standard go-to breakfast. Today was not that day. Today was not that day. Um, I had a breakfast sandwich, not from a fast food place. It was like, you know, when you buy them frozen, I had that. And I will tell you, okay, like, and I, please, this is all about discussion. So leave it in the comments. Yesterday, when I started off with like my usual breakfast, um, that some or some persuasion of that, some version of what I just described, when I have that, for lunch, I usually want, especially now because it's cold out, some soup or maybe I'll have salad, you know, something along those lines. And uh, then I was actually over at my parents' house for dinner last night and it was baked chicken. We did have stuffing, but um, I only had a little bit of it. You know, so I was watching what I was doing and trying to get more veggies in. That's how the day gets set up when I have like some veggies and things in the morning. Today was not that day because, and I really, this is part of this, right? I started off with this, you know, not great breakfast. It was delicious. Don't get me wrong. It was delicious. But probably not great. And, you know, I had pizza for lunch 
Not a lot of it. Not a lot of it. And I use my fitness pal as well. Better Me has um, like a food tracking thing, but I don't like it. I don't like it. Because it's got everything, in, if, if, if I remember correctly, I think it has everything like in grams. Do I have a food scale? Yeah. Am I going to weigh everything? No. No. I have, I have eating disorders that I work around. I have to be very careful not to trigger a binge for myself. That just comes from life experience. So no, I'm not going to be weighing things. And so I don't prefer that. With, uh... My fitness pal, I don't mind, like somehow, I don't know if I'm just used to it, somehow just going, okay, I had a half a cup of this. I don't mind that. That doesn't seem to be so like, I don't know, triggering's not the word. It's like the wiring of my brain right now. Until that gets rewired, having to do things in grams and all that stuff is not going to work for me. So, but being able to eyeball something, I know people be like, oh, that's not accurate. Calm down. You probably have some disorder yourself if you're that uptight and you're that worried about what fat people are doing. You're you're not on any kind of righteous ground. You have issues too. Like there's food phobia, okay? Obviously there's fat phobia. Get it checked out. Get some treatment. You're not perfect, right? So I use my fitness pal. So I have logged all of the food and all that. I know where I'm at. Uh, I still have dinner to go, and I do have a salad. It's a salad kit that I got in the fridge that I'm very, very much looking forward to. <laughs> like, I, so I'll be having that for this evening. But everything's gotten in there, and I'll log my exercise as well. Uh, I took a huge break from unpacking from the move for the holidays. I'm now starting to get back into that, so that's going to... I still have to take down my Christmas tree, y'all. What is today, the 19th? Okay, maybe I'll do that tonight. <laughs> I don't know. At least I took the stuff in from a porch. I did that. Anyway, so all that activity, I log that as well. And if you are using my fitness pal, you can put in your uh, cleaning. Just put light to moderate effort. I put that in because I have stairs that I go up and down throughout my entire house. But, you know, put that in. It counts. And this is something that I think can help you because I know... Like maybe I went through a whole day and it was just really, really busy. And I think, I didn't do any workout today. Okay, well, maybe I didn't get a workout in. But did I straighten up my home? I usually spend at least 20 minutes a day. That That's if I'm having a super crazy day. 20 minutes a day straightening up. You probably spend at least another 20 minutes food prepping at a minimum. Light to moderate effort. Put that, I would put it in. I do it. I count that. Absolutely, I count that. You know why? Because it doesn't make me feel like I failed. I'm giving myself credit where credit is due. If I've done laundry and I've gone up and down the basement stairs 20 times and I'm coming up and down the steps to put it away and put it into my bedroom, that counts. Oh, it's it's not one of your little workouts that, I'm being so sassy. It's not one of the little workouts some people like to do. That's you, okay? So that's where I'm at. That's my opinion on all this. That's what I count. And that's it. So please comment down below. How are you doing so far? How was this week? For me, it's been very mixed. And I ha I am noticing, and I've always known this, but I'm like, I think we're really, really driving this point home. When I don't start my day out with a good, healthy breakfast, it does tend to go downhill throughout the day and I don't think there's a conscious thought of I already messed up I may as well have the pizza it wasn't that it, there was something that was like I don't know like I, I felt like being indulgent today and maybe that's just today but what I need to be very aware of in my personal eating habits and you can apply this to anything whether it's your meditation habits your exercise habits do you exercise too much that's a thing. And absolutely, you can do that. You can get addicted to working out. Of course you can. But for me, you know, if I, it's like a food switch goes on and then it doesn't switch off, right? And am I getting up and activating that food switch or am I leaving it off? And of course, the nutrients that I'm getting from the food leaving me feeling full longer, um, 
feeling more vibrant, less tired. When we get tired, we don't work out. When we get tired, we just grab whatever, right? So that's something I'm learning. I'm still in the process. Let me know what you're learning. I love you guys, and we'll leave it there. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.